Previously on Onward Lifestyle. My dad catches a fish. My mom makes ceviche. Basic leaves Porto Don Juan. We anchor in Lamona. The fleet has a hurricane survivors party. Basic meets Delos. My dad snares a booby. And we finally see whale sharks. Now let's pick up our story as we leave the village and route to Ensenada, El Pescador. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. We are heading out of uh, the village in Via Valle and uh, we're gonna head over to Pescador for a little bit just to change the scenery. This is uh, kind of funny, it's uh, actually a perfect day to leave because it's flat calm um, and I think that it's still an outgoing tide but we have one little errand that we have to do and that is to reconfigure our autopilot. Not sure what happened but during the hurricane it seems to not be working properly so we went through the manual and Teal saying let's just reset and then reconfigure and hopefully uh, that fixes it. Who knows? Okay. It is it is kind of old but it's been a, a workhorse for us so we hope that, <laughs> that we can salvage what we have. All right, so it looks like we're heading at 88. And what does our two, autopilot say? 202. Okay, so, so we I, got a problem. That's what I think our problem is. So let's calibrate this thing and see if it helps. Toggle through to configure. Then toggle through to devices. Dang it, I passed it. You can go through it. Now, it's the one, two, third one down. There it is, right there. Okay, so, turn both. First revolution is done. Now for the second revolution. Just sitting here doing donuts. I know. tried the recalibration yeah. it did not work for some reason we noticed that the the autopilot was just bouncing between 200 and 270 yeah. and back and forth and so after doing our our calibration test there it wouldn't reset so I tried to reset this manually it wasn't working so then I looked at the compass itself <laughs> and our soda stream got knocked against it during the hurricane and was leaning on the compass. So as soon as I move this... Well, we don't know. It was that and then you also reset, pull, at the reset same time. everything else. But so. it's working perfect now, so... Within one degree of each other. So that's the culprit <laughs> we're thinking. Easy fix. At least it works. That was a pleasant evening at Ensenada El Pescador. Got a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats in here right now. It's a great anchorage. Look at this. From the east, you got this little island right here and a reef that protects this, this bay. From the north, you got this peninsula all the way wrapping around. 
nice protection so it stays real quiet in here we pulled in yesterday about noon and the wind was just picking up and swung us towards the beach a little bit so I turned on the chart plotter and for the first time ever it didn't turn on I mean the power came on and it went to the boot up screen but it just froze so I'm thinking okay this is a a chart plotter we've had for three years it's worked flawless for 5,000 miles now try it again doesn't boot up so we use Starlink to make a Wi-Fi call to their uh, Raymarine technical guys and we get Jacob on the line so Teal's on a tech, a tech support call with the Raymarine just so then we don't lose any of our uh, tracks and waypoints or anything He's gonna backdoor this and do kind of like a. This like is a pretty reset. impressive that we're doing this all over Starlink here. Yep, we're doing this on Starlink. I am, I am very impressed actually. Um, it came out of a reset. I'm extremely impressed. Yeah, that's He spends two hours diagnosing our problem, uploading files uh, via our Starlink, and corrects it all after hours on a Friday night. So shout out to Jacob. Uh, you fixed it. And then after that, the whole anchorage went to the beach to cool down and just have sundowners and, and hors d'oeuvres. All right, Compass is very excited. We're going to shore yeah, for, yeah, we're doing a little beach time for him and I'm uh, meeting up with uh, some people in the marina, or the marina, the anchorage <laughs> for some sundowners and uh, watching the sunset. And that was our first day here. Today, I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably jump in the water, go swim around this island. Just kind of get into just relaxing for a day or two. It's a great anchorage and nice people here, so uh, I think we'll have some fun. Last day in Pescador. It's been a good time here. This is uh, one of my more favorite stops. It's pretty special here. You got the abandoned palapas. Beautiful white sandy beaches. <laughs> hey, Shell collecting has been just epic. Look at this island. We're gonna go check out the island. We haven't been there yet. This is uh, Isla Pescador out here. This is actually weird because we've been here a few days now and it's been just beautiful blue skies and now we have this cloud cover from... Tropical Storm Madeline is south of us right now and it's going to be pushing it's, clouds for the yeah, next couple days. brought a lot of humidity. Yes, humidity, uh, might be some rain associated with this, we'll see it. But it's kind of welcoming. It's, I like the cloud cover. Well, the solar's not liking it, but I am. <laughs> We're gonna head over here and Emma's gonna Emma and I are gonna go hike up here to the top. And what am I gonna do? Compass and Teal's gonna spearfish. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a man and catch us some dinner. Be the I, man. That's right, I'm throwing it on the <laughs> table right now, so I, I have to get something. Be the man. <laughs> be the man. I guess we'll see how I do. There's my hunter, getting ready to catch us some fish. I really want a little grouper. Not too big, just right. 
You're gonna slow mo this like Top Gun as I walk off into the water. Oh yeah, totally. Compass thinks he's going along I am too. Legend. <laughs> Look at Compass. So I'll tell spear fishing. I think Emma and I are gonna do a little hike up to the peak of this island and check out the scenery. This is uh, quite large and very spiky and definitely not forgiving. So just watch your step. That calls for you too, Compass. <laughs> Dinner? Oh, you got us a hogfish? Yep. Compass is like, what is that? Nice glow. <laughs> I know. There's so many barnacles in there and stuff. I didn't want to get cut up. I know, but your other gloves melted, so we gotta get you a new pair of gloves. <laughs> hey, they work. <laughs> oh. We spent a total of three days in Ensenada El Pescador enjoying every minute of it. The fleet was a very social group that planned beach activities every day. One of the mornings we even had a brunch at one of the abandoned palapas and everyone contributed with delicious food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. 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 but I do like it. I love you. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you so really so but the crew has decided to attend the Annapolis Boat Show. And in order to make this happen, we must get BASIC to Puerto Penasco in the next 10 days to put BASIC in dry storage. That's the only way we can make this trip happen. There's only a handful of stops that we still want to experience, so the crew will have to pick up our pace and keep pushing north.
Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. We take pride in our videos, so if you enjoy them, let us know by subscribing. A great big thanks goes out to our patrons whose support makes these videos possible. Consider joining our crew if you can. Now that we have decided to head to Annapolis, it will be a quick, fun, fast pace as we head north. See you then!